Hey everyone, we're spending the night in this tiny shipping container cabin. In this video, we're gonna give you a full tour and explain to you a little bit about how it was built. We're here at an eco resort called Repère Boreal in Quebec, Canada. They rent out these cabins, they've built the shipping containers and also a few other really beautiful constructions. We're really excited to be here, so let's go take a look inside. As you can tell when you walk in, it's a pretty simple open concept layout and it actually feels kind of like a micro condo, it feels like a typical room. Often before walking into a shipping container home or cabin, I think it might feel a bit narrow or boxy, but this doesn't feel like that at all. It might be thanks to that huge window at the end and the two other windows here. It feels actually quite nice in here. And the container is only about eight feet wide, eight feet tall, and 26 feet long. So starting at one end, there's the bed here. It's positioned right up against the window, so you have a really amazing view when you're in bed. Uh, there's also a blind that you can pull down if it's really sunny or if you want some privacy. And they've even added this little cushion here, this little pad on this wall. So you can kind of lounge here and use this as a couch and look outside and enjoy the view. Over here is a really simple kitchen. This cabin is fully hooked up to the grid for electricity. So there's a two burner electric cooktop here. There's also a fridge and a small toaster oven. And there's also a fan here for ventilation. One thing you'll notice that's missing is a sink. This is a rental, so what they do is you get your water uh, in a jug, uh, you use that for drinking water, and for your dishes, you bring them up at the main cabin and wash your dishes there. Like I said, it's a rental, but if this was to be a more permanent home situation, it wouldn't be that complicated to add a sink and plumbing system. Over here, there's a small table for dining and hanging out. Here's the electric heater. That's the main heat source for the entire cabin. It also happens to be just under the coat rack, so it pre-warms your coat before you go outside. And there's also a line here that you can stretch across. So you can hang your wet towels and laundry. And here's something that's really important in any living space is a comfortable place to hang out and lounge and relax. So that's the couch and it can also be a second bed for guests. Here is the toilet. It's a Sunmar composting toilet. It's really easy to use. You just add wood chips after every use and it's continuously vented to the outside so there's no smells. As you can tell, there's no shower in here. They have a separate shower block for all the cabins. They did that to keep things simple so they didn't have to add plumbing and the gray water system in each cabin. This cabin was built with a used 53-foot shipping container. The container was cut in half to create two identical cabins. And to close off the ends that were cut, they finished it with a full, stunning glass wall. The cabin's insulated with three-inch foam boards. They also added a second roof to protect the shipping container from the elements, but they left an air gap between the two for ventilation. I love the design of this container cabin. It's clean and modern, and at the same time, with all the wood on the inside, it's really cozy and warm. The outside has a bit more of an industrial look, which creates an interesting contrast between nature and the container house. And it still manages to blend in perfectly with the surroundings. So overall, this is a really nice, functional, tiny space with a few additions, like maybe a bit more storage, some plumbing and a shower. I could easily see this as a full-time, year-round home for someone. But for a temporary rental, it definitely has everything you need. A couple of other fun things here at the Eco Resort. Every cabin has a fire pit and a hangout area outside. And there's also a sauna, a couple hot tubs and a cold shower. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more about Repair Boreal and what they're doing here, you can check out the link in the description of the video. If you want to see more tours of container cabins and homes, you can click the playlist right here or in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.